All right, so first stop is M4 Sherman Bart for part one of our lesson. Chieftain, what do you got there? This is a 76 millimeter round. Bart is an M4 76 with HVSS. That's an M4 A2, but you don't need to know that because you're going to be loading. The objective here, the loader has a number of functions, but for our purposes, all we want you to be able to do is get the 76 millimeter round into the breech, ready to fire without losing any of your fingers because I get squeamish at the sight of blood and that's not gonna do me any good. It won't, it won't be pretty if I faint. And I'm particularly attached to these, so let's, let's keep them on today. But that's your call. All right, so hop down in there and let me hand you this round. Just watch out for the primer in the uh, center here. Don't tap that on anything. Is this safe? Well, as long as you don't hit the primer. There you go. All right, I'm gonna hop in the other side. Okay, so this was a wet stowage tank, which means that the ammunition is in safe stowage down by your feet. As you can see, it's angled forward. So your objective now is going to be to extract the round, place the nose into the breech. It's gonna be a slightly angled, push forward, it'll straighten out, and then you continue moving the round forward. So for the sake of this demonstration, don't go any further than here. All right? Roger that. And correct, and your fist would be the exact way of doing it to help protect your uh, your hands. So that is the that is the easy way. Uh, we're going to do it the hard way just for safety, just in case. So what we are going to do is we're actually going to finish this loading process by use of that two by four over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want me to push it in? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you are going to push, try to avoid hitting the primer. You're going to push in the round until the extractors close, and then this block of wood is going to come slamming to your left. So just watch out for that. I like don't want to hit the center. Try hitting with the back of the the wrench. Okay. No, 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 the wood. Hit the wood with the back of the oh, bench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. I'm really scared of this primer. It, it'll just go pop. Okay, really loud? No. <laughs> like, really hit it? But it's not going in if you don't. <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna put it in the center. Is it moving at all? It's not moving at all. Oh wait, uh, it's making some, a little bit of movement. I see there's a lot of WD-40. Maybe this is why. I see, it, it did make a little bit of a... Now, there we go. Woo! <gasps> okay. As I said, if your finger was in the way, you would have a problem. I don't even know all what just happened. I just saw like my life flash in front of my eyes. That's that's gonna make it a really good re uh, slow replay. <gasps> okay, okay. So now it's in there. Okay. And now it's time for the gunner now. to do some work, or am I still on duty here? Uh, okay. So <gasps> you now your job, as far as the main gun is concerned, is to stay the hell out of the way. Okay. Because this is going to recoil. This is the recoil guard. Okay. So as long as you are outside of the box formed by this, then you will be safe. As, the, as this thing comes back about 10 to 12 inches in a fraction of a second when the, when the round fires. Now, that's assuming that the round fires. If the round doesn't fire, it's your job to get put yourself in danger again. Okay. So the first thing will happen is uh, on the way, bang, misfire. Something didn't work. So the gunner's going to go to an alternate, uh, an, an alternate trigger. So he's going to go probably for the mechanical trigger instead of the electrical trigger. If that doesn't work, uh, I don't actually see the recock anywhere. What was that? Oh, here it is. Here's the recock. Um, if the trigger fails to fire, there's a, a recock handle. You can give it another... Does a loader do that? Yes. So, misfire, recock, and... Is it supposed to latch or any... Or... Yeah, I thought it was, but may maybe not. I was going to pull the trigger, but that's a bad idea. Um... <laughs> All right, so if the, that doesn't work and the mechanical trigger doesn't work, then it's the job of the loader to try recocking. 
and that is that handle there, push it all the way forward, and the two triggers would be tried again. If that doesn't work, the next thing to do is you have to reseat the breech. So you take your breech operating handle, you open the breech about halfway, pull. Just like a little Yeah, a little push tab. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Hand strength for this. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Open halfway and let it slam shut. Okay. All right, you've now reseated it, okay. just in case maybe it was misaligned. Fire, fire, recock, fire. If that doesn't work, the next thing to do is you have to debate whether or not you're going to pull the round out because uh, of what is called a hang fire. And uh, a hang fire is when you pull the trigger, you like those Wally Coyote cartoons. It's, 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 it's like jammed. Yeah, it, it's based, well, it's not jammed, it's just didn't work as advertised. Okay. The, bur this, the, the powder is burning, there is fire in there, but for some reason it hasn't detonated. So this is where Wiley Coyote wonders why the why the bomb didn't work. <laughs> he looks into it and then then it goes off. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I wasn't gonna like where you're going with this. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. you have to decide whether or not it is worth the risk to pull out the round with a hang fire and uh, rotate it 180 degrees. Uh, so to do that, you would open the breech block all the way, rotate it 180 degrees, and then put the round back in again. And if that doesn't work, you have a dead round. So uh, let's assume you have a dead round, or for some reason, such as here, because we're not firing full charge rounds, you fire the round and the ejection does not happen. It doesn't come all the way out. It is your job now to extract the round and replace it with a new one. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Use a breech opening handle, push it all the way out until it locks in place. Okay, so this is worth the risk. Yes. <laughs> let, let us assume we just fired this round. Okay. It just did not recoil all the way. Keep going. <laughs> you have your third of the way there. Mm. Oh. Two, two by four down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, my head's right over here. I'm in the basket. It's almost there. <laughs> Is it there? No, it's not. Oh, this is hard work. Ow. Chief, can you give me a hand? Pull the rest of the way. Oh, okay. Fogging up. Whew. All right, but we did it. All right, now you got to get the round out. Okay, now I got to get the round out. Do I need that? So I would Ooh. probably use this little pry bar okay. uh, just to get that first inch. If, you, if your fingers can't grab hold of that rim and pull it out right now, go ahead and use a pry bar. But try, try just your fingers first. Okay, they will, I won't lose them. As long as you don't push forward, you will not. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> what a rush. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> I did it. Look at that. Um, okay. Now what? <laughs> now, uh, do I put it, wait, am I, was I rotating it? No, okay. no, we'll, we'll assume this is fired. So this now, you, you chuck it out the hatch and, yeah. <laughs> For safety purposes, I will not be chucking it. Out of the hatch. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down very gently over here. So other things you might do, if you look to your front, you're going to see a mounting point for the machine gun. Uh, so, yes. uh, in, no, that's the site. Oh, that's the site, where not is the site, that's an observation. Oh, so this is where the machine gun the, would the be? The machine gun will go here, okay. and your job will be to feed the machine gun as well. So. Okay. If for some reason you might end up in one of these things in a reenactment, your job would be not only to service the 70, uh, 76, but also the coaxial machine gun. Okay. And you look at the top and you see whether or not there's anybody shooting at you. So. Anyone out there? So there you go, you're, you're, you're a little bit overtasked. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a good multitasker. Great, so that is basically the functions of loading. <sighs> Feel better? I'm sweating. I'm, I'm I, I feel great, this is fun. I, it's I, a different workout. So if you want to have an, an interesting and enjoyable workout that's a bit different from CrossFit or something stupid like that. It's definitely an, an adrenaline pumping workout. Thank you so much for showing me how to load. Not at all. You want to risk your fingers again? No, I'm ready to start gunning. Okay, gunning it is. Pew, 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 pew. Spotted. Identified. Fire. Tune in next week for a lesson in gunning. Subscribe below.